no script in this video, no, you know, whatever, no, no nothing, right? I want to be transparent with myself and I want to be transparent with you guys and I want to sit down and explain, right? If you guys aren't going to watch the video, that's fine. I don't care. But for you that do, for you guys that do, um, I truly believe that you will be able to take something away from this. I sat here and allowed myself to become content. You know, I hit a home run what's in the market. I made a little bit of money. Well, done a little bit of progress in this trading thing. Well, to the outside world, it looks like a lot of bit of progress, right? Um, I sat here, documented my entire journey on YouTube and decided to upload it one day and started garnering a following off of it. But I recently have allowed myself to become so content to the point where I'm no longer striving. And in turn, I have seen that effect not only ripple within my trading, but also ripple within my entire life and the things I want to achieve and the goals I have set out to achieve. I no longer had felt the drive to push because I allowed myself to become content, satisfied, full with what I've achieved. And in turn, that bled into my trading. And recently, a lot of you guys have been asking, Lonnie, where did the trade recaps go? I did stop them. And I stopped uploading them primarily because I wanted to, let's be real, I'm not going to make an excuse. I started going on a losing streak and while losing, I sat there and decided I'm going to take a break in order to ensure that I don't do anything I end up regretting, like blowing, a, you know, my accounts um, and in turn. My break is not a, you know, break from YouTube, 100% no. We're going to, we're going to go as hard as possible within these next couple of months until the year ends. I made a promise to myself that I would push through and achieve every single goal I wrote down in the beginning of the year. And... I wrote down for next year the goals I have within the beginning of the year, the car I want to drive, how much income I want to be making from trading, the consistency, YouTube subscribers, everything of the sort, right? And I cannot allow myself to disappoint that kid that had this dream I made a promise and I refuse to allow myself to not follow through with that promise I made a promise to myself that I would and will achieve everything I set out to achieve everything I just thought of achieving I would achieve everything I said I would achieve would achieve and in turn seeing myself become lazy I started to see myself drift away from the person who I used to be and I'm not proud of where I am now um, mentally physically spiritually financially everything of the sort but I do know this that I am the only one is able to make that change I would love to sit here and say 
God can make that change. My friends can make that change. My mom, my dad can make that change. But the truth is, I am the only person who can make that change. And that's the truth. And unless I sit there and truly give it my all, I won't see the results I'm looking for. I won't be that man I aspire to be. And I'm saying this because I know a lot of people that have gotten content. And being content, being comfortable with where you are is what kills your dreams. It's what kills you. Make me a promise that no matter what happens, you will never allow yourself to become content. Never allow yourself to become content, no matter what you achieve. No matter what, never allow yourself to become content and never allow yourself to give up on your dreams. This morning, I practically had a breakdown and I truly did almost give up on my trading. I almost did give up on trying to be the best version of myself and just allowing myself to cave. And then I re-reminded myself that that is not me. That is not who I have been created to be. God did not create me to be someone who gives up to little minute situations such as this. And I was reminded that this is merely just a roadblock. A traffic jam per se within the overall road to where we're headed to and I got up and said you know what you've come too far to quit because at this point I have the whole world believing in me I have me believing in me I have you guys behind the screen my family Believing in me, pushing me to be better, pushing me to do better. And then I have my mom, my dad, my friends, everyone pushing me, watching my every move to see what's going to happen next. And I can no longer allow myself to sit there knowing everyone is watching and not giving you guys a movie, not giving you guys something to be astounded by. I put myself in the scenario I'm in right now. And I take full accountability for it. And in turn, with putting ourselves in this scenario, I believe in my whole heart that we will get ourselves out of this scenario and into the best scenario of our lives. We will continue to give it our all, never giving up and never quitting. Never. And one day, when you do do it, Lonnie, because you're going to rewatch this video, you're going to sit there and you're going to start crying. You're going to bawl your eyes out like a little girl <laughs> because you remember the times where you wanted to quit, the times where it got so hard, where you... You've seen so much progress and still found a way to screw it up. And wanted to quit, but didn't. Because you knew and know that's not in your nature. With whatever goals, with whatever dreams you have in mind, like I said, Promise yourself you won't give up. Remember. Remember. At the end of the race, it's only you and your shadow. There's no traffic jams at the end of the race. There's none. In the beginning, everyone's there. The pretenders and the contenders. But that last mile of the race, 
It's only you and your shadow, my friend. It's you versus you. And you must be able to push through that voice in your head because if you're not, then your path ends there. Don't allow yourself to be conformed to what others say about you. My entire life I had people tell me who I am and what I am and what I should do. Nah. You don't know me. That's not me. So in turn, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to be the best at it. I made myself a promise that if I'm coming into this trading game, I will be the best at it. I will be number one. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to be number one. And I'm going to be the one to change the industry. I'm going to be the one to make a difference. Not only in this, but also in my own personal life. I believe in you and I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the decisions you're making right now to give it your all. I'm proud of the decision you're making to just start. I'm proud of you. And I never want to see you quit. I never want to see you give up on what you set out to achieve. So write it down, what you're looking to achieve what you will achieve because here we don't do maybes we don't do ifs we don't do buts no we do wills we do musts there's no other choice but to give it our all why at the end of the day, if you don't, what do you lose? We're going to be at the same scenario anyways. So, might as well give it your all and see what happens, right? I don't know what's going to happen a month from now. I don't know what's going to happen a week from now. I don't know what's going to happen a year from now. But I do know one thing. That consistency compounds... And if we choose to continue on the path at which we are on and choose to give it our all every single day, even the days where we don't see any progress, we will get to a point to where we are on top of the mountain and we look back down proud, but not satisfied, but proud of where we have gotten compared to where we were. That's what I'm going to do. Once I'm done recording this, I'm going to write down what I want to achieve. I'm not going to write down, oh, I want to make, you know, $20,000 from the market this week. Or, you know, oh, I want to get funded with $600,000 in capital. I want to write down my realistic goals and what I see us achieving within this next two-month time span. And shoot, that may be, oh, make $30,000 within the next month and a half. You know, oh, make ten grand this month. You know, whatever the case is, right? Get a piece of paper. Get your pen. Get your, write in your notebook, whatever the case is, and write down what you're going to do. Just write it down. And you won't have these issues of what do I need to do. Just execute. Why? Because if you don't, you're only selling yourself out at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, no one's going to feel bad for you when you don't achieve your goals. No one. I'm not going to feel bad for you. Your friends, your family aren't going to feel bad for you. No one's going to feel bad for you besides you. So why allow yourself to feel bad? Go out, get up and make it happen. 
because I truly believe you will make it happen. I truly believe that you can make it happen. This fork in the road, this roadblock is only temporary. My plan from here is to take a week break and take a week break to not only clear my mental, but to also prepare myself for what we are about to dive into. My entire trading journey will be documented. Everything. I will no longer not recap nothing. I will showcase everything because even within my trading, I believe that in the scenario where I'm at, and, and how I think and how I choose to adapt my strategies and, and go in and tweak them, you guys can learn so much through looking at my thought process and how I choose to tweak things and change things and, and you know, add more confluences and do whatever the case is and seeing what works for me. I always thought about that. How can I kind of help you guys in the sense of, you know, just showcasing my trading and I realized the answer is right there. I can help you guys by showcasing my trading because there's so much within this industry that is kept hidden. Even with the very, very popular profitable traders, they weren't able to showcase that, that hardship of them going through it, really going through it for the years in order for them to have gotten profitable. But for us, it's funny because we're all on that journey together. So I hope and pray that we all may be able to grow on that journey together. It takes time to grow. And unfortunately, I get impatient. But no longer will I allow myself to sit here and be lazy be content with what i've achieved we're going to go harder than ever doing whatever it takes in order to achieve our goals because a quote i heard says this the more you put in the more you get out shout out richard Kayana. So, let's get to it. No more talking. No more sitting here acting like we don't know what to do. We know what to do. So, let's go do it. I promise you, Lonnie, you will achieve everything you set out to achieve when you say you will achieve it. These two months will not go to waste. These two Days will not go to waste. These weeks will not go to waste. And so you'll look back proud of the work that you put in, the sacrifice that you put in, giving it your all every single day. Because you achieved what you said you would. And even when you do, you'll still be looking to achieve so much more. Because we were never made be average we were made to be the best I'll see you around I'll see you around this is your Past self, talking to your present self. Go out there and make it work. That's what we do. See you around.